Gold has the potential to become a national treasure in Uganda. If managed well, the sector drives up exports, creates job opportunities, brings in foreign investment, and increases tax revenues. But there is a risk that the people of Uganda will not experience these benefits because of high money laundering levels. Gold accounted for 77% of the undeclared exports from Africa. This means that more than 109 trillion Uganda shillings of gold left the continent without any taxes being paid. What makes the gold sector a high risk for illicit financial flaws? It is a cash-intensive business. There is limited oversight and licensing. The origins of gold are difficult to trace and gold is used as an alternate form of currency. Across the globe, gold is utilized to perpetuate a variety of crimes. Since 2018, gold has become Uganda's leading export, overtaking coffee. However, domestic production of gold is low. Between 2015 and 2020, only 40 kilos of gold was produced in Uganda. Similarly, Uganda only imported 402 million shillings of gold. These disparities raise questions around traceability and origins of the gold and are also serious indicators for illicit financial flaws. Uganda should make the gold sector more transparent and accountable. First, Uganda should introduce a beneficial ownership register in line with EITI recommendations. Beneficial ownership requirements will help identify who controls mining companies and benefits from gold exports. The Auditor General's office should conduct regular risk assessments of the gold sector. Uganda should use tools like GF Trade that help customs authorities detect money laundering. And Uganda should commit to open contracting standards for all oil, gas and mining contracts. Only through transparency in the gold sector can Uganda transform it into a national treasure.